Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Happy Vlogmas Day 19. Today I'm doing a very requested video. I'm finally sharing how I color grade my videos and my vlogs. And let's just get right into it because I feel like there's a lot to cover. So let's do it. First, I wanted to list off all the applications that I'll be using today. So first there is Lightroom. Then we have Final Cut Pro. That's what I edit in. And then we have a new plugin that I'm gonna show you guys. So let's get to screen recording and then we can start. Really quickly, I just wanna explain the process so you kind of get like an overview of what I do to get my color grading. So basically I screenshot whatever video that I'm wanting to color grade and then I'll take that screen grab, put it into Lightroom, I'll put my preset on it and then there is a plugin that I'm gonna show you right now that allows you to export the LUT, which is pretty much like a a preset but on a video so it allows you to export it and then you go into Final Cut Pro you apply the LUT and then you can customize it even further I also forgot to add that I do use color finale that is not necessary but it does give you so much more freedom with the coloring of everything so I highly recommend it it's honestly extremely pricey but it is a one-time payment so it might be worth it especially if you're doing it for a business or if you have been vlogging for a long time and you really want to just invest back into your business I'm gonna link the plug that allows you to create a LUT from a Lightroom preset down below in the description box. So go check that out. It's John R. Ellis Lightroom Plugins. And basically, first of all, you can try it out for 30 days. So that's really nice. But also it's only 10 bucks to buy a license. So first step, download this plugin. I honestly can't remember the exact steps to install it. So definitely just follow their instructions. Then we're gonna go into Final Cut Pro. I pulled up an old vlog from the beach. I miss my long hair looks so good I don't know why I cut it but we are gonna take off the effects and start from scratch so I'm gonna screenshot this video perfect our screenshot just got imported so we're gonna hit develop in the top right corner and then we can kind of just play around with what we want it to look like I do want to preface by saying that even if you do this specific preset on this photo it might not translate just like what it looks like on the photo if that makes sense something might be a little bit off so you maybe you have to like come back and play with it um but this is all trial and error so you know it takes a bit of time i will say but once you kind of get your first preset and then you export it as a lut then you can kind of use that as a base which is what i do and then if the lighting's different in one clip then I can use color finale. So that is where that comes in. I actually have some presets on my blog, which I definitely need to update because I've been using so many new presets on my Instagram feed. Um, so comment down below if you guys would be interested in that. So sometimes I use my preset as a base. So today we'll use every day since that is on my site for sale. As you can tell, it's really washed out and we're just gonna have to go in here and do some you know, tweaking. So first I want to mention that you should definitely not have any sharpening. So the amount should always be zero. I think that looks really weird. Um, if you want to get the saturation up, you can do that, but I'm going to leave it like that. Maybe even bring that one down, Vibrance. I've gotten a couple comments recently saying that they like the brown tones in my videos and you can get that by increasing the temperature a little bit and then maybe raising the tint to a pinkish tone. But honestly, sometimes I do like my greens. So it just really depends on like what I'm feeling. What's really cool about Lightroom is that you can go into each of the colors and kind of just mess around with it. So my skin tone is obviously like an orangey skin tone. I guess it depends on what light I'm in because sometimes it can kind of pull red undertones. But for the most part, I'll go to the orange section and obviously you can see I look like a Oompa Loompa and we do not want that. And this is where I kind of desaturate and then kind of bring the luminance down too. You do really just have to play with it. And depending on what I'm feeling that day, maybe I want to make myself a little bit more yellow, but honestly, I'm going to desaturate it a good amount. Um, maybe bring the luminance down a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. I do like to bring my shadows up just a little bit. Maybe the blacks up a little um maybe the whites down a little okay so that looks pretty good i honestly feel like the skin tone might be a little bit too orange so i'm just gonna desaturate that even more bring the luminance down and that is what it looks like for now so we're gonna come up to file and this is where the plugin comes in so you're gonna go to plugin extras export lut 
and then we will name the LUT when it's done loading, okay? We're gonna name this demo video. Now we're gonna go back to Final Cut Pro. We're gonna go all the way down to color and then custom LUT. You're gonna drag that over the clip and then we can choose custom LUT. And I have so many like random LUTs because of freelance videography. And then sometimes I'll wanna tweak my vlog filters. So I have quite a bit of presets. So then we're gonna just go where it's saved. It's right there. And that is what it looks like. So as you can see, it is a little bit more orange than what I had in Lightroom. I feel like my computer sounds like it's about to explode. That just happens sometimes, so sorry if you can hear it. But at this point, you can go back to Lightroom and just decide what you wanna tweak and then just kind of export it the same way we did. Um, you can name it something different or you can replace the file or you can use Color Finale Pro, which is what I'm going to be doing. You just drag it on top of your clip and then you can go into Edit Layers and you can kind of just mess with the lightness and the darkness, create S curves. I honestly like my videos to be less contrasted, so I'll just do that kind of a curve. And then obviously I wanna fix my skin tone because it's still not as desaturated as I like it to be. So I'm gonna come into this button, six vectors. This plugin doesn't actually have an orange, so you just mess around with the red. You can see, I can make it really yellow, I can make it really pink, but I want to, first of all, desaturate it and then make it a little bit more yellow. And then I think the luminance is fine for now. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, to be honest, I think it's a little too yellow. So we'll, we'll bring it down back to the red. Let's see. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. So that's it. I just spilled all my secrets on how I color grade my videos. I hope this was helpful for all of you who are wondering. And if you guys have any other questions, you can either comment them down below or just DM me on Instagram. I'm happy to help. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.